Hey y'all, welcome back to Gentle Charm Budgets or welcome to the first timers. I'm the charming Heather Gentle and this is where we talk about all things budgeting, cash stuffing, bullet journaling, and life planning. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead, take a minute, hit the like and subscribe button and leave me a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. Okay, so today we are setting up our weekly budget for April 15th through the 21st. So let me slide back here. So we got to cover all the bills from the 15th to the 21st. So Comcast, Target, we've already paid off. You, the utility bill, Big Lots, Indigo, and Capital One. We also have to do car tags this week. So let's jump right in. So let's start with our income. We're not going to have any rollover, I believe, this week. However, I do get paid this week, and so does my husband. So, my husband should make $750. No rollover. And I should make... Eighteen thirty four. So our total should be twenty five eighty four. Okay, our bills are Comcast, which is our internet, and it's due on the 15th, and it's $75. Our utility bill is $488.86. Big Lots is $40. Indigo is $40. Capital One is $47. That was the only five, right? Yep, five. Okay, so seventy five, four, eighty eight, eighty six, forty, forty, forty seven will be six ninety eighty six. From twenty five eighty four left over would be eighteen ninety three fourteen. Okay. Our weekly expenses is Gas, and we're going to do the traditional 150. 
groceries. We will do 100. Not shopping, it should be spending. Sorry about that. Spending is thirty dollars. Miscellaneous is going to get five dollars. Dining out seventy five dollars. And our tags, um, I think, will be two fifty. And then emergency $25 car maintenance is going to get $50 I'm trying to keep in mind the things that bugged me last week so I don't have to redo this <laughs> home repair is getting 20 insurance this is life insurance it's getting 15 household is going to get five yearly subscription is going to get seven holidays will be getting 12 and I think that's Mother's Day. Birthdays is getting 25. Date night's gonna get five. The grandbabies will get their 10. Bad day, we'll get five. Weekend getaway is going to get five, and so is vacation. Fun will get five. The extra groceries will be five, plus whatever's in my wallet. I think I might have had $20 left this week. Lawn care will get 20. Electronics is going to get five. Gimme Helper is getting $5. My birthday is getting 11. Anniversaries is getting 10. Snowball, we are doing $50 for that one. Clothes is getting five dollars, and then our savings challenges we are going to do two hundred dollars. Let's see what that gets us one fifty, one hundred, thirty, five, seventy five. 250, 25, 50, 20, 15, 
5, 7, 12, 25, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 20, 10, 11, 10, 50, 5, and 200. Is that right? Yes. $1,115. Subtract that from $1,893.14. We'll have a rollover amount of $778.14. The rollover amount will go to our April house payments. Okay, that is everything for our budget. And I think that works out pretty well. If I see anything I need to change, I'll let you know in our cash stuffing, on our cash stuffing. But I hope you liked this video. It was quick and sweet and yeah. So give it a thumbs up, hit like and, sh and share if you think somebody would be interested in it and I hope y'all have a great rest of your week um and we'll see you back here for the cash stuff in tomorrow bye